close your eyes and imagine yourself descending through the twilight zone until you reach the abyssal zone, where sunlight is an impossible memory and the pressure is equivalent to having an elephant balanced on every inch of your body. In this realm of eternal darkness, the rules of biology that we know on the surface are discarded. Here, predators do not hunt with teeth alone, but with bioluminescence, creating light traps to lure prey in a frozen desert where food is the most precious rarity. The ocean covers more than 70% of the Earth and has an average depth of nearly 4 kilometers, yet we have explored less than 10% of this territory. Beneath this colossal mass of water, there are mountains taller than Everest and trenches so deep they could swallow entire cities. Do you think you know danger because you've seen sharks on the surface? At the bottom, there are creatures that haven't changed their form in millions of years. True living fossils, surviving in an environment of extreme cold and absolute silence, where sound travels four times faster than in the air, turning every vibration into a signal of life or death. Before we embark on this epic journey through the depths, please leave a like, share this dive with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss a single mystery of the ocean. Imagine a crustacean that wouldn't fit inside your car. We aren't talking about a movie monster, but something real, inhabiting our planet right now. The Japanese spider crab is the largest living arthropod on Earth. With its legs outstretched, it reaches the absurd mark of a 13-foot, 4-meter leg span. If it were in the middle of the street, it could easily hug an entire SUV. Looking at it, with its small central body and infinite legs, you would swear it came straight out of a 1950s science fiction movie, a true alien spider from the abyss. But here is where appearances are deceiving. Despite this nightmare silhouette, it is known in the scientific world as a gentle giant. It lives in the darkness at depths of up to 400 meters where the pressure would crush a human being. Down there, in the icy waters of the Pacific, it moves with a hypnotic calm. And the most shocking secret of this titan? Its resistance to time. While we race against the clock, it traverses the ages. A single individual can live for up to 100 years. This means there are crabs down there that have seen the world change for an entire century, protected by the silence and darkness of Japanese waters. For centuries, it was the greatest nightmare of seafarers, a legend dismissed as the delusions of drunken sailors or the myths of ancient maps, the Kraken. But in 2006, the myth came to life. The world stood still upon seeing the first images of a giant squid in its natural habitat. We are talking about a real monster. Imagine a predator with eyes the size of dinner plates, the largest in the animal kingdom, designed to see the invisible in total darkness. Its tentacles, armed with serrated suckers, can reach lengths of 14 meters. It is a creature of alien scale, operating under rules we barely understand. But the most impressive factor is not its size, but its resilience. In the abyss, the giant squid wages a silent battle against the only opponent its equal, the sperm whale. We rarely see the combat, but the evidence is brutal. Almost all adult sperm whales emerge from the depths covered in circular scars, marks of gigantic suckers carved into their skin. It is the record of a duel of gladiators. While the whale tries to devour it, the squid fights for every second of life, using its keratin beak to tear at the predator in the absolute dark. Down there, a thousand meters deep, survival is not a science. It is an epic war between the greatest titans this planet has ever produced. If you think the great white shark is the peak of ocean terror, you don't know what came before it. 
Imagine a predator three times larger, a titan that reached nearly 20 meters in length. We are talking about the Megalodon. Its teeth were not just fangs, they were fossilized daggers that exceeded 18 centimeters, larger than an adult man's hand. But the true power lay not in the size, but in the force. The Megalodon's bite is estimated to be the most powerful in the history of the planet, with a pressure of 18 tons. It could crush an armored car as easily as you crumple an aluminum can. It didn't just hunt whales, it disintegrated them. What makes this monster even more real is that it wasn't hiding, it was omnipresent. We find its teeth on practically every continent in the world, from Alaska to Australia. It was the absolute owner of the planet. Officially, it vanished from the fossil record 3.6 million years ago. But here is the question that ignites the internet and keeps many explorers awake at night. With more than 90% of the ocean still unexplored, could such a giant have taken refuge in the abyss? Science says the pressure and the cold would make life impossible for it down there. But the ocean has already proven that it loves to humiliate our certainties. Until we map every inch of the blue, the Megalodon will continue to swim in the place where it is most dangerous, in our imagination. Forget everything you know about proportions in nature. In the frozen heart of the Arctic floats a creature that defies our understanding of size the lion's mane jellyfish. Its name is no coincidence. Beneath its pulsing bell, which can reach over two meters in diameter, it hides a colossal mane. There are 1,200 tentacles divided into eight groups, thin as silk threads, yet incredibly numerous. These filaments can extend an impressive 30 meters in length. To give you an idea, that is the equivalent of a 10-story building floating in the middle of the ocean. Here is the fact that mind boggles any biologist. In terms of total length, this jellyfish can surpass the blue whale itself. While the largest mammal on Earth rarely exceeds 30 meters, the lion's mane has had recorded specimens reaching nearly 37 meters from the top of the bell to the tip of the very last tentacle. It is not just a record breaker, it is a lethal strategist. In the icy northern waters, it uses this infinite net of venomous tentacles to create an invisible deadly web. Any fish or small creature that touches even one of these threads is instantly paralyzed by potent toxins. It is the spider of the sea moving silently, filtering the ocean and proving that sometimes the Earth's greatest giant has no bones, no blood, and no brain, only an infinite hunger and a trail of venom. No dinosaur that ever walked the Earth was larger than the animal breathing in our oceans right now. The blue whale is the absolute record holder for the title of the largest living being to have ever existed in the entire history of planet Earth when it comes to mass and volume. To understand its size, we need to look inside. Its heart is the size and weight of a small car, beating only twice per minute during deep dives. Its arteries are so vast that an adult could swim freely through them, as if in a water park tunnel. This animal's tongue alone weighs as much as an entire elephant. But the greatest paradox of nature is this. Even weighing up to 200 tons and measuring the same as three buses lined up, she is a gentle giant. She doesn't hunt monsters. She feeds on krill, tiny shrimp-like crustaceans. To sustain this colossal biological machine, she performs the greatest logistical task in the ocean. She consumes about four tons of food per day. In a single gulp, she swallows a volume of water equivalent to her own body weight. It is the pinnacle of biological engineering, an animal so large it defies gravity, yet so delicate that it depends on the smallest creatures in the sea to survive. So far, we have explored just over 10% of what the ocean has to offer, 
If in such a small fraction we have already found jellyfish larger than buildings and whales that surpass dinosaurs, what do you think is hidden in the rest? If you felt the chill of the deep, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell so you don't miss our next journey. Which of these creatures scared you the most? Comment below. I'll see you on the next dive.